Hello, it's Emma Mills here and welcome to this week's episode 157 of my TV. And it's a very special episode because I'm not going to be in it for very long, but I do have a special guest who I am going to introduce any minute. But before I do, the reason for our special guest is all centered around the quarterly meeting that we have and we had it a couple of weeks ago. So on our quarterly meeting, we reflect on, did we achieve what we said we were going to do, to do in the last quarter's meeting? If we did, um, we celebrate. If we didn't, why did we not and what do we need to change? And we also look forward to the next three months and we communicate to the whole team what our goals are in terms of the number of customers we want to bring on board, um, our turnover, um, and any like initiatives or projects that we absolutely need to get over the line in the next three months. So for us, everybody's totally aware of where we're going and what the next three months is about. We get total buy-in. When we do well, we celebrate together. So it's very much a team bonding experience. And on our last quarterly meeting, um, one of our team, Anna, who is one of our exceptional receptionists, if, if you're a call answering client, Anna will be answering your calls. Um, she told us that she'd written a song all about my PA and it basically, if you ever wondered what my PA actually does and my call, Anna is going to explain it in the medium of song. But just before I introduce you, I just wanted to like, if you don't have any kind of um, update, if you don't make your team aware of what's going on in the business, what's important, what the key goals and metrics are, how can you ever possibly expect them to be able to help you to deliver them? So if my TV does anything today, I want you to just think about how you can bring your team into that, get them totally hyped when you do well, help them to take responsibility when you don't do well and how you can solve that together. And hopefully your staff will be writing songs like this. So you've heard of a receptionist and you've heard of a PA And you've always wanted to get one but they're a hefty price to pay Well we remix the system and we found a better way for you to do the business with more hours in the day So we can Book you a flight to Germany or in for an MOT Sort you out a plumber or a new conservatory RPAs can juggle anything like book me all a day To find me a thousand roses in the space of half a day Our receptionists are here to take the calls that you can't make Whether that's at 7am or even half past 8pm We'll handle all the calls so you'll never have to stress About the clients or the customers or the who's appointments next so no matter what the business or the time or even day Consider it done Here at my PA How cool was that? I hope today's episode actually helps to get your head out of the dirt and into the clouds And if you want your team to be fully like embraced in where you want to take your business celebrate the wins, like solve the lows together, I highly recommend that you have quarterly meetings, you share the info, share the data, and if you're interested in any of the things that Anna told you about in the song we can help with, then you know where I am. Um, and I'll see you next week for episode 158. See you then, bye-bye.